another Reaction Monday, and this time, I told you before that every once in a while, I'm going to try to randomly kind of select the people who request songs that like are not on the major bands that I'm listening to at the current time. So if someone kind of just says, hey man, you got to listen to this band and this song, and like it's like a really obscure name and nobody else has ever requested it and it's not in these major bands sometimes every once in a while i'm going to just pick one out and just kind of listen to it because i'm always up for discovering the things that are not very popular but still may be very very good um, so today uh, this has been requested twice and it's called blotted science well let me check that Blotted Science, I think, is the band's name, and Activation Synthesis Theory is the song. So, I have no idea, I've never even heard of Blotted Science. The kind of title makes me think, like, science is probably going to be very technical, I would guess. Very technical music, maybe not. Um, but I don't know anything about this band, I've never ever heard anything about them before until I read it in the comments section. So. There's really not much for me to say other than let's just get to the reaction and listen to it. So here we go. Heartbeat. Nice. Very E3, I was like, someone's in surgery or something. that the bending uh, getting faster is that the change in tempo it's a pretty cool effect Definitely tune lower. Nice. Damn. Nice. There we go. I was waiting for it to like have like something. I like that. Dude, that's fucking low. <laughs> Is that like drop B? <laughs> Definitely technical. Is that legato? Is that like legato? That low just j -j sounds so freaking good. I don't like the way the drum sounds. They're kind of too trebly. For me. My taste. Nice. I like the 
difference between that blue 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 and dum 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 like the slow and the fast. This sounds like. Oh, this t yeah, it sounds like death metal style. Definitely technical. marching kind of nice nice dude I imagine being at the concert and everyone just fucking banging their head into the damn ground Buckethead. Some of the like guitar sounds like is this Buckethead? <laughs> this totally reminds me of Buckethead. that slow down from the fast heart rate at the beginning to this it's like somebody dying I guess you could kind of interpret that from the music and done okay as you all know uh, I'm definitely more of a sucker for the uh, compositional side of music and I would say this definitely falls in the uh, kind of mashuga side of the of the spectrum uh, this is definitely heavier 
and it's definitely like not very cohesive. <laughs> it was like, I mean, the sound I would give. So the first thing I thought was the sound was really well done, except for the drums. I didn't like the drums in the mix. That's not a right or wrong. It's just a, a preference. Um, I just love really like uh, well-rounded sounding drums, and that one sounded very trebly. I also like very low sounding drums as well. And it just sounded like the guitar was really low and heavy, and it was like drowning out. And maybe that's why they decided to put the drums to be more trebly, but they just sounded like in the background more. Um, and I don't think the drums should be in the forefront, but they should definitely equal to, um, which is one of the reasons, you know, and I've come accustomed to um, the sound of Dream Theater. Like, they've always had like the drums as like, in the guitar is like really loud in the mix and really well, well, well mic'd. And um, I would, you know, other than that, I think the sound was heavy. It was like deep. It was like obviously drop tuned. <laughs> and it was, I think there was a, several riffs in the song that were very well done. And I liked, I, I liked the beginning a lot. I think the way that it started uh, was very, very good and kind of, it was like an attention getter in a speech. <laughs> it like got my attention. I was like, okay, okay, this is kind of cool. And then when it went into it, it's like, okay, cool, like that heaviness, and like, and they repeated it a couple of times. But then I just kind of got lost. It got into the weeds a lot. It got into like this avant-garde. Like, it's very interesting to me because when I hear stuff like this, and again, this is my opinion, but when I hear stuff like this, it just makes me say the people who claim that Dream Theater is like wankery music, where they just like are trying to show off their skills on the guitar and they're just trying to wank off I have no idea what they're talking about because they should listen to this <laughs> because if there's anything that I would say was kind of like a lot of wankery kind of like a lot of just like like just kind of no connection just like going at it full full tilt musically which is why it was technical um, I'll give them that this to me is more wankery than like because it, what makes something, in my opinion, more wankery versus more not wankery is if there's a com compositional aspect to it. If there's like a home base that they come to and it's like there's like a structure, there's a form, there's like a, a story being told. Every story in every book has a form. It's not just like this random stuff, which by the way, I'm watching the story, or I guess it's a story, a, a drama called Lost. It was an, oh, I think it was like 2004, 2003 or something um, in the United States. It was really popular. I had never watched it. I'm not into drama as much, but I just decided to watch it like started like a month ago or whatever. And I would say Lost is the equivalent to this song in storytelling. Lost has like this main story, but it's like just every episode is them trying to subvert expectations and just do crazy shit. And they're... They introduce all these sit like kind of themes, and then they never come back to the theme ever. They just and then they don't ever explain the theme and why it came up in the first place. That's the whole. St so it's like th there's no composition package to it. It's just like let's just sub subvert expectations and just go places where nobody else is gonna go. Av avant got uh, how do I say that? Avant got guard jazz is this similar way. It's very like. And that's cool. People like that. And it, but it's a very harder style for the masses to get into because there's it's it's just too out there. It's too out there. It's like metaphysics philosophy out there. <laughs> so that's the way this is for me. Now, if this was what this band sounded like all the time, if this is kind of like their MO, then I'm not going to be interested in this band. But if this was just like a one-off song where like they're trying to just like one time have that feel because I do think there's a time and place for avant-garde jazz uh, and that kind of weird art uh, there's a time and place for it but, but it should be short and sweet <laughs> and I felt like this was kind of the same way so um, I felt like again technical of course it definitely sounded like Buckethead in the guitar area I wouldn't be surprised if Buckethead was the one playing guitar on this um, and I thought it was very well, like the guitar sounded good and deep and nice and I liked some of the riffs in it, but overall it was just kind of like meh, like okay you guys can play your guitars and you guys can, you know, write a bunch of riffs that go next to each other that are pretty sweet, but it wasn't really memorable to me. So with that, <laughs> as always, like and subscribe 
and come back for more. I'm always trying out, you know, want to try out new music and maybe catch something that I never thought I would catch. So stick around.